8,500. Hell, we have, uh, you saw McAtee here a little earlier. Hell, he's heavily involved. So's his dad, Joe. And we go around the track and have a hell of a good time and uh, all that. But to be honest with you, what happened was, and I know where you're going there, uh, <clears throat> that we got to figure out how to keep the lawyers at bay. Well, how many how many here know about waivers and releases and all that? Better see everybody's hand in the air. <laughs> Well, here, here's the reason we have those, and this is important stuff. Sometimes I, well, no, I, I get sidetracked a lot. I, I have a good time in life and enjoy, uh, enjoy talking to folks. But this needs to get your attention times ten. Um, waivers and hold harmless agreements, we'll just call them waivers, they work in the state of Indiana. They work. Work times ten. Save my ass. Uh, remember I was telling you I got sued? So did my chief investigator. Hell, he still had not forgive me on that. Bill Howard, remember old Bill Howard? Hell, he's a grouchy old guy. Yeah, he can raise hell. Hey, you got my ass suit here on this right now. Okay. Well, anyhow, we used waiver on that. What happened was we had a bunch of folks coming in from the region. And uh, it was on 37, coming to the ride. And there were about 50 or 60 of them. And we had a cop that was leading them. But the cop, hell, he was dressed like I was. Didn't have uniform on Gets out in the middle of the intersection there at 37 and 62, I think, and puts out his hand. Stops traffic. Well, most folks would stop, you know, just assuming, you know, hell, must be important shit going on. Hell, that's worth four or five minutes to see what's happening. But we had some guy who was in a hell of a hurry with a ladder on his station wagon, you know, the type, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, he decided, hey, wait a minute, he had a green light, proceeded right out of the intersection and, and hit a couple. Well, those folks were just coming down for the ride, weren't really members of a bait, and they, they had a lawyer, and that lawyer sued everybody in sight. Of course, I was standing there looking at my feet, you know, like, holy, but we didn't do anything wrong. What did we do? Okay, in the process. Well, you've never seen a pair of lawyers and investigator going through all those damn waivers, one after another after another. We found theirs, and by return mail, case was dismissed okay another case that we had that made us pucker down at uh, Lawrence Recreational Park this is a tragic case um, a lot of you folks may or may not know but we have no basic liability insurance at Lawrence County you know why we just can't afford the bill hell if we paid the bill hell we're out of business so a business decision was made to use these waivers. Boy, you think this old butt old doesn't pucker when I look those things over. Because we've got the responsibility of God to make sure it's wonderfully right on. How many drafts I've been through that son of a bitch? What, 20 or 30? I get it out, I get it out every year before the boogie and like, holy shit, we're, we're going to put some more stuff in here. Okay? <laughs> they make me keep it to a page and that's like torture to a lawyer. You know what I mean? getting smaller. <laughs> well, we had a tragic circumstance. Father of four does a bad jump, winds up being a quad. Okay? Basically, life's over. Basically, life's over. Uh, his lawyer, former Indiana Supreme Court Justice John Krahulik, calls me. Remember that butthole pucker I was telling you about? Parker's again. Oh, hi, John. I knew him. You know, I had some cases with him, argued cases before him. He said, Rod, I represent this family. And I'm going, yeah, we're just heart sick about what happened. I said, Judge, we got a waiver here. And you know, he signed off on it. I said, hell, we don't have, <clears throat> you know, we're a charity outfit. Hell, we, uh, we do just enough to get our bills paid and, and do the job that we have to do, but we don't have insurance and we got a waiver. He said, send me a copy of it. Faxed it over to him. Calls me. Said, Rod, you're right. We don't have a case. So, the moral of the story there is, the lifeblood of a bait depends on all of you being good soldiers, if you will, to treat those waivers seriously. Treat them seriously because what you may not do could collapse our entire organization. Back in the old days, I could plead poverty. 
Hell, we were just a bunch of near-do-well bikers having a 99% party, remember? 1% work. Uh, <clears throat> hell, we had enough for Mark to kind of put together our newsletter. Barely a little more than that, all right? A filing cabinet and a gas can that are available in the side of the <laughs> Well, have I communicated with you the seriousness of that waiver, all right? If you have questions, you've got my number. If there's application issues that bother you or you don't understand that, that's what I'm all about. That's my job. That's my responsibility. I'm a linebacker. That's the way I look at it. I'm not big enough. I need to be Digger Phelps over there. Digger's one of our guys that goes back to 1979. A true graybeard and a true hero. I mean, hardcore, a bait director, you name it, he's held all the offices. Uh, he uh, still, what, 15 years? He's been the uh, coach of a uh, seventh, sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth, fourth, and fifth uh, girls basketball team. Donates his time. That's kind of an example. I, the only I, people he can be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only people who listen to him. <laughs> well, you need to go say hi to Digger. He's uh, one of our old salts and uh, a mainstay of this organization. Yes, sir. Uh, on this suit business, uh, when, when people start suing, uh, who's all in the line base? Not just a beta in Indiana, but how about me as a co-rep? You've asked a very good question. Yeah. Well, Indiana, Indiana passed a law that says that volunteers shit for a not-for-profit organization doesn't stink. Okay? And what I mean by that is you are immune from personal responsibility as a volunteer for a Bait of Indiana, okay? Now here a few years back, most states have passed some laws along that line wherein if you're helping out the church, you're helping out the girls team or the, you know, for example, uh, or whatever it may be, Kiwanis, etc. <clears throat> as a volunteer, the entity is responsible because you heard my little theory earlier, personal responsibility, making sure stuff is done right you know, you need to have a claim. I mean, if we're going down the road in an abate vehicle and we blow a stop sign, you know, or if we didn't uh, maintain our vehicle, whoop, I shouldn't talk about that old trailer, right? Where is that trailer, by the way? <laughs> yeah, unsafe in any speed trailer. Yeah, okay, it's gone. Okay, good. All right, we're back in business. But the responsibility of the entity is still there. If the uh, Boy Scout Association does something bad, bingo. Geno Johnson and his firm does something bad, bingo. 